All right, so I'm Brad Peel on Beat.com, and you're probably wondering why we're watching a movie trailer right now for Inception. Um, I'm trying to show you something very interesting. In a movie trailer, which is about a minute and 15 seconds long, the whole purpose is to get you to think you understand what the movie's about. It introduces the characters, the plot of the movie, maybe some of the major twists. Obviously, the, the point of all this is to get you to go and watch the movie. A movie trailer is thus a lot like a research abstract. See, the whole paper is obviously not here. This is a very short version that just gets across to you the key points. And just like a movie trailer, you know, there may be parts that are missing or parts that are exaggerated or all the best parts may be in the abstract or, or some parts are in the abstract don't end up being in the movie. I know it's annoying when it happens in a movie, but it's just annoying when it happens in an abstract. See, the point of an abstract is exactly like the point of a trailer. The point of a trailer is to get you to pay money to go see the movie. And the point of a scientific abstract is to get you to look into it more and maybe get you to purchase the PDF, which is purchasing the full paper, which in this case is $31.50 US for this one paper. Now, you would never watch this trailer, which is over, and tell your friends, I just totally saw the movie Inception. You know, most people would see right through that on the same line. You wouldn't read an abstract and then tell your friends, yeah, I read the paper. But a lot of people do this. They take this one, you know, maybe one or two quotes from an abstract and then explain it to you as if they've read the whole paper. But just like a movie and a, you know, the trailer for the movie, things can be missing. You, know, you really need to read the full paper. So I'm Brad Pilon for eatstopbeat.com and that is what a research scientific abstract is.